get started. Hey horror freaks, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. If this is the first time here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can get a notification every single time that I post a video and I post every single week. As you can see in the title on today's video, I'm going to be giving you my full review with spoilers of the season finale of American Horror Story Double Feature or season 10. Now the series come to an end. Well, this is I am recording this on Wednesday, but it's coming tomorrow. But it came to an end on Wednesday. Now the episode is already available to watch on Hulu if you missed it. But as always, all my reviews are with spoilers. But if you don't want them, just to see if this was worth watching or not, and, and just my general opinion on it, on the description box down below, there you're going to find my spoiler free review on my blog because I like to give you guys the options. So giving the little talk disclaimer ahead, let's get into the video. Now the 10th episode that is called The Future Perfect, it's the finale of part two, that is Dead Valley, and the whole season. So we have like two for one here. Now this episode was with, including the commercials, watching it on TV, just an hour long but definitely felt like really, really short. Like for a finale, you could be expecting something a little bit longer, but let's be real, after the disaster that was the ending of part one, expectations weren't that high for the ending of Dead Valley. Now, the episode starts right in 1972 with Nixon on the presidency. Now, he's trying to do something because if case that you don't know nixon is the first president and only one until today on the us to have resigned he had some troubles on his presidency of course i'm not going to be talking about that means that's another history class i'm not getting into details but he had some issues while he was on the white house and on this series they're trying to make it as if the aliens and Cody Ferns character that his name is valiant valiant I don't know, valiant, I'm going to call it. Like, they made that as a distraction to distract all the US citizens from the alien activity on the country. Pretty bizarre and seriously, it's even stupid. Like, I get it, the whole season, well, not the season, but this part was trying to show how aliens were basically in charge of the US government, but the reality is that it came to a point that was really ridiculous and had no sense at all because of course there were they are still many conspiracy theories about area 51 john f kennedy's dead marilyn monroe dead i mean those things that they have already been touched on the series okay i can get them but the fact that you even put nixon and even the next president that is gerald ford that he has already an alien on the inside and Eisenhower even says that he kind of looks like weird so the reality is that it's for me it didn't fit so Eisenhower by this time we jump to 1975 when Nixon is about to resign he is dying and basically his last minutes on earth were along his wife and Cody Ferns character and he dies yeah that's it he dies and his wife is taken to the area 51 where she's going to be living that when we realize is the same place where all everyone has been kept ever since where of course we have all the host of the future babies so she's basically on the same place and she's still alive so she appears on what i could be saying that is part two of the episode that it's um present day so the whole thing on the past, we go back and forth between 1972 and 75, and then 1979, that is when she's taken to the Area 51. But it's basically said that the whole reason that Nixon resigned was because of the aliens, if you want to have it just that way. Like it's really the simplest way for me to explain it. And like I said, it's really, really stupid. That doesn't fit. Because at least when it came to Marilyn Monroe and John F. Kennedy, Okay, I kind of get it. They have always been said that they were murdered both because they knew many information that they were supposed to know and then they were about to give it to everyone. And that's how they were killed. And that the aliens have been on the US government and that Area 51 is precisely the place where all the alien stuff is hiding. 
Of course, these are all conspiracy theories because nothing of this is proof. But they try to make it look real in the series and kind of fits because of how many things have been said before. Even the hoax of the moon landing, they even talk about that. I get it. It's a really, really strong conspiracy theory that the moon landing was a hoax. But still, Nixon, I just don't get it, the reality. So then we jump to the present and we have basically the whole SWAT team, if you want to call them that way, running around the place because of what happened at the end of the last episode when we had two guys giving birth to the alien and one of them eat it. You remember that if you watch it? So they arrive to the place that they are and they kill the baby but some of them are killed on the process. And then we have the two girls and we have Angelica Ross character that is half alien, half human, she arrives. And she's like, they're coming because they started to obviously have some pain because of the labor. So they are both seated on the same room. They both give birth. Candles, that is Kaya Gerber's character. Her friend is killed and the baby too because it didn't come out that it was supposed to. But Kendall gives birth to the perfect baby. Which, if you ask me, was a really safe move and pretty predictable. Like, if one of them was going to give the perfect baby and be the perfect host, definitely it was going to be hers, since she was treated as the protagonist of this part, at least. Now, of course, she's not precisely happy about that, because, of course, the plan is to reproduce as many as possible and use her as a machine, so they cut her head and instead they put on a giant metal ball that it's serving as a new head, but without a brain, like it's just functioning, like making it a real machine. So now she's going to be replicated so that they have, um, I don't know how much they're going to replicate, but have a lot of human bodies to make the perfect baby that is going to be the perfect creature. Because the real plan behind all of this is to take over the earth. Now, Eisenhower's wife, that her name is Mammy, if I am not mistaken, the reality is that I don't remember. You know what? Let me check. I don't want to mess that up. And yeah, Mammy Eisenhower. Now, she is not happy about this because, like I said, she of course, she's still alive. She's watching everything and at some point she's like, my husband signed for this. So I want to see what my husband helped to create. I mean... He's, she's not wrong. I mean, he's the reason why we have the aliens on their government. So she starts talking with Angelica Ross' character. And she's like, they're going to... You don't know the plan. Like, they want to kill everybody. She's trying to convince Angelica Ross' character to not do it. And we also have Leslie Crossman's character once again. And they are all on the same room with the baby. And mommy is about to kill it when Angelica Ross stop her. And she starts telling her that we as humans, we are hypocrites and we are selfish because we're not going to be willing to share a world with them because her pla their planet was dying. So, of course, they need a new planet to live and that, they, that basically human species didn't deserve to live because we were damaging the earth. Like that was the simplest way for me to say it. So, mommy, it's cute. Her head explodes. And Leslie Grossman's character helps to receive the second baby, the perfect baby. And that's how it ends. That's it. Basically, half of them are dead. The other ones, we never know what happens to Cody Fern's character. Like, yeah, we get that he's still involved, but what he's going to do now? Now that the babies are old, because he says that we're going to take over the year. Well, not precisely like that. But... It's like what happens now and uh, I'm not gonna lie I am kind of disappointed I was expecting something more the reality is that I like it the concept of aliens but I think that was really poor executed like for me besides trying to make a lot of conspiracy theories into the series mixing it up with on the present day and like this Part that was the present day, it felt like it was American Horror Stories, rather that part of the series. I think that it was way too short. Like part two deserved a little bit more of development, just like Red Tide had. I think that this wasn't a smart move on making it a double feature. 
Like for me, I think that these two stories were really good, but they deserved their individual seasons. Like definitely Red Tie probably should have a really better ending than what we had because of the short time. I mean, five episodes, they're not enough. And four episodes for this definitely are not enough. So pretty good concept. So for me, the best episode is still number five. I think that that episode was insane and I probably a lot of people agree with. But in general, this season could be a six or a seven. Like it's not bad because the reality is that Red Tie was a really, really good season and part until the very end. Like the end was a disaster and part two was kind of a mess and kind of disappointed but at the end if we take it as a whole i enjoyed this season more than some others so definitely for me i am i need to give it much thought on the actual ranking that i'm going to do probably I'm going to be doing a video about that later about my whole ranking of the series but probably it's going to be on the middle like i don't hate it but i don't love it either but definitely it's way better than others that we have seen before and well, this is all probably this is the longest video since it's the ending so I can like compile my whole opinion of the season. I was expecting a little bit more the reality. Uh, my expectations for this were a little bit too high. Definitely it's way better than American Horror Stories. I don't recommend that at all. I did a review of each individual episode just like I did with American Horror Stories. But I am not doing this again, definitely. <laughs> so for example, I'm watching the Chucky TV series and I know what you did last summer, that is on Amazon Prime. Both of those, I'm going to be reviewing it as a whole once they're ended, just you have that. But definitely, I like American Horror Story. Like I am way too invested in the series by now, but definitely I think that they need either to end it, which is not going to happen in your time soon, because I am not mistaken, even a 12th season is confirmed already. I don't even know what the hell they're going to do. But definitely Ryan Murphy, I think that needs to step back a little bit and like decide what the hell is going to do because American Horror Story is not the same and not in a good way. But well, this is all for the video. Thank you so much for watching. And let me know in the comments what do you think. Did you enjoy the season? Not so much. You're going to watch it now, now that the whole season is ended. Um, you have never watched um, a part of American Horror Story, who knows, maybe you just kind of randomly this video, who knows. But well, this is all for the video, thank you so much for watching, and I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Bye!